Hey, our top friends, wanted to give you a quick sound check, as promised, of the 1963 Johnny Smith Red, or otherwise known as JR, Johnny Rocket, turning out to be one of my faves, and the sound is probably why, but also the playability. And you may notice I took off the Bigsby, for those of you who were watching. It was nice and it was factory, but it just wasn't right for the guitar, I don't think, anyway. And it didn't have the sustain. So I fortunately bought this super 300 nickel tailpiece a while back, and it fits perfectly. I had to trim off the little triangle tip there, but didn't discard it. He found a little spot here up on the truss rug cover. Um, but I think it sounds much better with the more substantial tailpiece and the sustain is far superior to then when I had the Bigsby on it. So the tone, some said what does it sound like acoustically, I mean it's hard to compare. Obviously that doesn't have the volume that this will. That is the bridge, oh, sorry, the neck. Both. And then, of course, the just the uh, bridge. A little shrill. I like the uh, neck pickup best. that Johnny Smith sound. The playability is really great. I mean the action is like negative 164th. So even hackers like me can get pretty good articulation without too much effort. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. The Johnny Smith, James Brown, by the way, is the employee, it turns out this is an employee build, I was told, and so that is not the James Brown, but the other James Brown who worked at Gibson, but uh, grateful that he built this little guy. Enjoy sharing with you, and I hope you enjoyed listening.